In a significant legal development, the High Court is poised to review and potentially amend the Veterans Act 2 of 2008 and the Veterans Amendment Act 3 of 2013. The review application filed by Velen Biakas and the Southwest African Territorial Forces SWATI F members alleges that these acts contain discriminatory and exclusionary provisions that have benefited some at the expense of others. Generally, the former Swati F and Kufut members want to be recognized as war veterans and consequently benefit from veterans' grants and status. There has, however, been opposing views to this demand with arguments pointing to them having fought on the side of the enemy in opposition to Namibians who fought against foreign occupation. And this is the bone of contention. In a notice of motion for a review filed on May this year, Velen Biakas and former Swati F members contend that the Veterans Act and its subsequent amendment have unfairly favored the People's Liberation Army of Namibia, plain fighters and others who sacrificed for Namibia's independence. The applicants argue that the legislation has excluded other veterans who also made significant sacrifices during the country's struggle for independence. The High Court Lady Justice Claudia Klassen has in the meantime granted a postponement, rescheduling the review to November. This follows a request by lawyer Mekumbushitere from the law firm Dr. Ferde Kauta Hoveka Incorporated, representing the applicants for additional time to consult with and advise the core group of about 300 applicants regarding the documents filed and the case overall strategy. The respondents in this case include the government, the president, attorney general, justice minister, speaker of the National Assembly, office of the judiciary, and ombudsman represented by Nkululi Kupe of the office of the government attorney. With the case now scheduled for a status hearing in November, both sides have been granted additional time to prepare their arguments and gather evidence. This case is of significant public interest with potential implications for veterans' rights, government policies and legal precedents in the country. Daniel Nadunyan Bissinius, High Court, Vanthook.